So guys, let's get into this video quick and fast. No introduction is needed. Um, this is a farmer, a Zimbabwean farmer. Proves that you don't need to buy GMO seeds or buy these bioengineer fertilizer. Fertilizer that's, that's engineered in our lab and then mass produced to sell to the, on a global scale to say you have to use this in order to get this result. So let's get, let's get into this video and we'll discuss it after. Boom. Zimbabwe farmer Nelson Mudzingwa says he hasn't used non-organic fertilizers for his trees and plants for 10 years. Instead, he depends on animal manure and the dead leaves to fertilize the soil for his crops and fruit trees. He says sustainable farming that works with nature, known as agroecology, is cheaper and that's not all. We need to save our soils. The soils are very important for us because they produce food for us and they must be fed and they must continue to live, not to die as a result of our intervention. We will not need to poison ourselves. We would want to feed ourselves with organic material that we collect from our farms. In this dry area, Mudzingwa harvests hay to ensure he has enough water for his plants and animals. Joseph Mandinyenya is an agroecology specialist with the non-profit development group Voluntary Service Overseas. He has trained about 400 farmers in agroecology as the threat of climate change grows. It can be actually climate proof uh, the, the negative effects of uh, climate change. Also, agroecology produces health foods and it also makes use of the naturally available resources that are within the farmer's proximity. Zimbabwe's government hopes agroecology soon moves to other dry areas to ensure food security in those households. Godfrey Chipinda is chief economist in Zimbabwe's Ministry of Lands, Agriculture, Fisheries, Water, Climate and Rural Development. It also in support um, with uh, the program that we are implementing as government, which is our conservation agriculture uh, from Vudza in Tuasa. Uh, and I think uh, it comes at the right time where we are preaching a message as a government that uh, we need to rest restore our ecosystem. We need to test our soil. We need to make sure that everything that we do is uh, agroecology. So you see there, this is a farmer in Zimbabwe, in Africa. You see what he uses as his fertilizer. You see how lush and green the vegetables look and how nice these the bananas look and what does he use as his fertilizer he uses the cow the cow shit or the cow the cow droppings and let's pretty it up the cow droppings then he uses the, the dry leaves and, and all of that so what the dry leaves how that use how that works you get out all the leaves you light it and then the ashes from that you use it and spread it all over the ground and then you mix that into the ground and then you plow it into the ground and then it brings nutrients to the ground. I can just throw it directly to the root of the plant. Same thing with the cow, the cow feces. You, you get it and then you mix it up, you crush it out, you mix it up and then you throw it by the root. Or you can spread it all over the ground, then plow it in so it gives the ground more nutrients. So you have no need for no fertilizer that sell from overseas where they it's it's not good for you anyway because they it's bioengineer it's not it's synthetic it's not natural just like the gmo seeds they are synthetic they use they put in chemicals in it to so-called um and then say it's good for you because these companies that sell the gmo products and gmo fertilizers is a multi-billion dollar company so they, they will not push this narrative where this farmer use and, and prove that you don't need gmo and fertilizers right I've known of this car when I was a boy. In the late, in the early 90s, this is what farmers used to use in Jamaica, in my country, where you have farmers using the, the cow manure and um, or even the rat bat feces. That's very high nutrients for all and every plant. Hard to get, but when I do get it, it's very potent. And they, they burn off the leaves all, and throw it all over there. We, we, we do that when I, in, when I was a kid. So I've known of it. But all of a sudden now, and this is what, before I go to that, this is what these companies, these companies do. What they, they'll do is, if you don't buy the seeds from them, the GMO seeds, and if you don't buy the, this bioengineer fertilizer from them, then you cannot export your product 
to know European or Western countries because they, they don't accept it because they're going to say it's not good or because they didn't buy the dairy seeds, it, it cannot be proven or, or I forget what the, what the word they, they, they use, but you have to buy from them to export. So, because Africa on a whole is currently banning the import of products, especially grains, seeds and all that to come in the continent, they are now trading on the continent within each other, with each other like Ethiopia have a lot of wheat they're exporting right now. Zimbabwe does have over 80 tons of wheat in excess. And different different countries in Ghana right now is producing, is mass producing products that's good for the country. So with this, if they put this on, a, on the continent as uh, you making most farmers, teaching them how to use this system, the, the cow manure, the, 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 um, the, the, the burning of the, of the leaves and then use the ashes and the, the rat bat, the droppings as well, which is a very, very high in potency. If they can get more farmers to use this kind of uh, manure, this kind of fertilizer on their plants, and then make this become a continental issue, then you won't need to import. One, you won't need to import no, no free fertilizer. So the price, in, the, price, the price hikes won't affect African farmers. Two, one, two, the country wanted to keep US dollars in um in reserve to buy these products so it, it raised the inflation on the local currency and so it's all good things all around so I hope you like that thanks for watching you don't know it's a WSX, WSXM podcast tell a friend to tell a friend like share comment and subscribe peace one love boom